All right, so today we're gonna to be showing you guys another way to get three phase power when you only have single phase available. So this unit is gonna be powered by a single phase 220 volt circuit that is going over here. And realistically, it doesn't have to be a lot of amps. We have 30 amps that are ran to it. And then this phase converter has a ton of settings that you have to go through. And you get to it through the program. And as you can see, there are so many programs. There's actually 140 something. We're not going to show you that. So we will go ahead and make sure that we get back out of here. And we have this programmed specifically to the motors that we have. We're not recommending or telling anybody to do this, but it does work. And we're not going to be held responsible for anybody hooking it up incorrectly. So first thing that you do want to do is run and charge up to where you have 60 Hertz, which is what we have it set on. So once it's charged up to 60 Hertz, the capacitor is ready, then we can connect power to the motor. And then once the power is connected, then we have pickle control. So we have a motor hanging from a motor, but just to show you here, I'm gonna be pressing up and you will see the chain going up into it. So we'll let this run for a while just to show you that the capacitor doesn't discharge and it will hold the maximum amount of the weight of this motor. We ran it fully up to, I think, 520 pounds. So that ran for quite a while, didn't put any stress on our VFD. And then we're going to go ahead and press the down button to show you that that works as well. So you can still do increments. So we'll do a fine bump. And you can see we are still doing increments or you can go wide open and everything still works just fine. So this is using a VFD to simulate three phase power. It ends up kind of generating the uh, third leg and it has a capacitor that is pretty stout. So Josh is gonna unplug first the power to our motor and then he's going to unplug the power that is powering this VFD just to show you how long this capacitor is loaded for. It is out. And we are still powered. And there's gonna be quite a countdown because this capacitor holds a charge for quite a while. So definitely not something that you wanna have open that people can touch, but very good when you're having to demo how a motor works or you don't have access to three phase power. So that was a good 10 to 15 seconds of being powered after the power was off. So what we typically end up doing is we disconnect the power for the motor, which would be those two. We turn it off, that way it can scroll down its hertz, and then we end up turning everything off. But we just wanted to show you how much was going on with the power draw. So if you have any questions, just give us a call. It's 256-275-4734. And if you want to buy any pro audio, video, or lighting gear, just uh, hit like and subscribe and have a great day.